welcome back to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Today's video is going to be about how I put this tree together and my thoughts on the tree once it was assembled. Um, this tree I picked up from QVC. It is the Bethlehem six and a half foot spruce tree. It includes the Swift Black technology as well as the multi-function capabilities of switching the settings on the tree. This is obviously the multi-colored one. This tree is a bit more pricey than the competing artificial trees and whether or not I think it was worth it will be talked about within the video. So if you were considering buying this tree but you weren't sure whether or not you should take the plunge, just keep watching and hopefully it can help you out. Okay, so here I'm just opening up the box and really hoping that everything was packaged correctly and that there will be no broken lights or any other broken materials. That's actually something that I always worry about when placing online orders is that my order is going to come broken or not working because of improperly packaging. But as you can see here, everything looks pretty secure. So as with most Christmas trees, this Christmas tree came in three parts and each of the three sections of the tree were tied to the box. So I am just untying this first section here and then my battery died out so I just did the same with the next two sections and took them out of the box. Now I am taking out the stand and there was a little bag that had a couple pieces in them so that is what those are. So here I am just looking over the instructions. I found this little card um, that says that this tree requires a little bit of extra attention. So I wanted to make sure that I read the instructions thoroughly um, because I wasn't really sure at this point what I was in for. Here you can see just a little clip of my point of view on things um, and what each of the three sections of the tree look like. And now I am just trying to figure out the perfect spot to place this in hopes of not having to move it once the tree is all assembled. I found these three little screws. Each of them had to be screwed into the holes that are surrounding the base. And then I did a bit more reviewing of the instructions just to make sure I was doing everything correctly. Okay, now on to the fun part. So originally I had thought that this was going to be the base of the tree. It was the largest part and that's just what I've always seen in artificial trees is that the largest part is the base. But with this one, it's actually the smaller part. So it had me confused for a second. The instructions were telling me to look for numbers on each of the sections of the tree, but with this one I couldn't find it at first, so I am just looking everywhere that I can think of, and I still wasn't able to find it right away. It took, took a little bit longer for me to actually realize that what I was doing was their correct way to go. And now I am just tightening each of the three screws on the base and this is securing the bottom base of the tree to the stand. And here you can see this is the letter A that I was searching for. It was kind of hard to find but once I did find it I was very happy to know that I was doing it right. Uh, the directions then tell you to take off the surrounding ribbon and that was one of the big things that they tried to stress within the instructions was to not take that off until the section was placed within the base. 
And then here was another tight kind of tricky spot. Um, they want you to rotate it until you hear a click. I never heard a click and so I was kind of not sure if what I did was right, but I just kept going along by fluffing out the tree. And I'm not sure if you can tell in the video, but something that's really cool about this tree is that the tips of the branches are a lighter green than the foliage in the back. So it makes the tree look more real. Um, it's not something that I've seen on any other artificial tree. So I really like that feature about this tree. I'm still just fluffing it out and hoping now that it will work when I plug it in. Fingers crossed. When I went to plug it in, I was a bit disappointed because it wasn't working at first. And then I remembered that there was the power switch on the bottom. So I began playing with that and there are three different settings that you can set it on. One thing that I found here though is that some of the lights were not working on the top and there weren't many but I pointed out here which ones were. There are very few but of course that's not something you want to see in a brand new tree so I had to re-screw this top piece on. As you can see there, uh, if you turn the tree a little bit, the lights will go out. I'm not sure if that's something that needs to be fixed, and that's something I might let my fiancé check out once he gets home to make sure that this, the way that I set it up is in fact the way that it should be. And if it's not, I will list that in the bottom description in case there's anything extra that needs to be done that I missed. Okay, so I tried to go through the tree and fluff it out as much as I was going to right now. Um, it's really pretty. It is. It, I thought it was going to be a little bit fuller and it's my fault for thinking it was going to be a tiny bit taller. But I think it is a really nice tree. I'm excited. It's got this uh, little power pack right here. Um, and so you can kind of change the settings. So here are the different time settings. And then here are the different looks of the tree. Uh, so right now the tree, all the lights are on. We click it again. It's kind of twinkling at a fast rate. And then here is a slower pace, kind of dims in and out. And then here they are all back on again. All right guys, I just finished um, setting up our tree and I think it's really pretty. So I'm not too sure if um, what QVC is charging for this tree is worth it and I don't think I'll know whether or not it's worth it um, for at least a couple of years just so I can see how well this tree is holding up compared to how it looks right now. But for now it is a beautiful tree. It was pretty easy to assemble. Of course it's not as easy as QVC makes it look but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. I really like how the each part, each of the three parts just snap right in and you don't have to, you know, mess with the cord. Hopefully the lights will last for a very, very long time. Hopefully the tree will keep its fullness and its structure for many, many years and I'm hoping that we can enjoy this tree for many years. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye.